right, ladies, you're gonna love this next story. A uh, charitable single dad and his twin sons from the Pacific Northwest made global headlines for chopping firewood and donating loads of it to families in need. But giving back is only part of their story. Check it out. My name is Shane, but people call me the Paul Bunyan of Lake Stevens, Washington. Shane and his twin sons have sparked a flame of humanity in their cold, rugged town outside of Seattle. Vowing to heat their hood, they chop and donate wood to those who can't afford it. My father used to give firewood away to people who needed it around town, and I'm really just continuing on that tradition with my boys. We spread the word in our community by putting posts on social media. Once I put the post up and people figured out I was single, women started making comments. I love you is probably the most common. But for Shane, life hasn't always been this smooth of a cut. Several years ago, I was on my deathbed. I had a surgery, and after that surgery, I was sick every day. Couldn't figure out what it was. Stayed that way for seven years. When we were 10 years old, he went from 200 pounds down to a 120 pound man. He was on the edge of death. The thought of losing him was really scary. Yeah, when we were one years old, our mom, she left. So after that, it was just my dad was Mr. Mom. He would do everything for us. He'd cook, clean, you name it. He's the foundation and the rock of what we have here. And when you see him on death's door, it shakes your reality. At the time, the doctors put him on a chicken only and a chicken broth diet, which was literally killing him. What no one knew was that Shane had developed a deadly allergy to chicken and that discovery saved his life. He changed his diet and quit getting sick that day. It was a miracle. I started focusing on diet, exercise, eating right, and most importantly, yoga. Now my dad's ripped. He's got 0% body fat. He only eats vegetables and beef and protein, and he's looking chops really wood. good. And chops wood. Yeah, he's a beast. I didn't think I would ever to be able to be active like this again. It feels so good to be alive again, and that's why I never stop. I'm always helping somebody, or boxing, skiing, snow, water, doesn't matter. I want to live every second of life. Now, healthy and happy, Shane has got everything you could possibly want in life, except a lady. All our dad does is help others, and we'd love to return the favor by finding him a happy woman. Mr. H, we need your help so that we can get my dad a nice, suitable girlfriend. <laughs> this is good. You know, Shane does so much for everybody else, and his sons Harrison and Henry want to return the favor. So today, I'm helping these guys find their dad the perfect date. This is Date Our Dad. Hi, right, everybody. So please welcome Shane and his twin sons, Harrison and Henry. All right, everybody. Nice to meet you. So, Shane, let's start with you, man. How you feel about your sons uh, bringing you here on TV to set you up? You know, it sounds like a lot of fun. I've been in a really good place for the last couple years now, and uh, I just don't have the time to put into dating. All right, let's talk to your sons, Harrison, Henry. Why you want to help your dad find love? Well, he's kind of always been like Mr. Mom to us. He raised us from when we were one years old as a single father, and he's never, like he said, he's never had the time to date. Uh, and so he did everything he could to make us happy, and now we want him to be happy, and it's his turn. <laughs> well, uh, we sat down, the producers got together, and they consulted with the fellas here, Harrison and Henry, and they found three fabulous single women who I think could be a great match for Shane. So, Shane, I mean, you ready to meet the ladies? I'm ready. Yeah. All right, ladies, come on out. Please introduce yourself. I'm Carly. I'm from Lake Stevens, Washington, and I own Catalyst Yoga, um, and then I also own Authentic Gatherings, which hosts uh, community events. Wow. <laughs> hey, Shane, Harrison, Henry, nice to meet you guys. I'm Haley. I'm originally from the South, mostly Florida, but I moved to California a couple years ago from Australia. I'm an actress, a TV host, and a TV reporter. I covered news and sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Hello. Jessie. My name's Jessie. I'm from Reno Valley, California. And I, woo! And I'm a, <laughs> I'm a DJ and a dancer, performer. Yeah. All right, Shane, you got some questions for the ladies. But since your sons are in on this also, I'm gonna let them ask ladies a question too. So let's get to it. Shane, let's start with you. What's your first question for the ladies? What's your idea of the fir perfect first date? Um, definitely getting outside, going for a kayak or a paddle or um, hiking, and then eating some great food. I would say any type of outdoor adventure, um, skydiving onto the beach and then having a picnic at sunset or doing something. Skydive to the beach. Onto the beach. <laughs> <laughs> or doing some kind of uh, something to help others, some volunteering at a shelter or something that gives back. Okay. <laughs> Jesse? I would have to say something different that I haven't done, like skydiving would be awesome. But today, I just heard too. about <laughs> goat yoga, you guys. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be the best date ever, just because I want to go try it. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's, let's go with the sun, see if they can join in with this. OK, what is one trait you wish you had that you don't? I wish I was better at time management, because um, I always try to cram way too much life into one day. And then by the end of the day, I'm like, I only got half of it done. Right. So I would love to be able to have better time management. Mm -hmm. I am a little bit of a perfectionist to my own detriment. Um, yeah, sometimes it's better to just get it done than try mm -hmm. to make it right. <laughs> I would have to say uh, probably procrastination on the things that I want to do the most. OK. Check it off. All right, what was your dream as a kid, and how did you incorporate that into your working adult life? When I was a kid, I wanted to be both a prima ballerina and the president at the same time. <laughs> I was like, those are both part-time jobs. I can yeah. do both of those. Um, my life as it is, um, I'm able to use my body, use movement, um, teach other people how to enjoy living in their bodies. So a little bit of that ballerina comes in. And then um, owning two businesses, I'm essentially the president of my own life. I can decide what I'm gonna do from one day to the wow. next. That's so. good. Like that. Wow, that's good. Wow, I wanted to be an Olympic gymnast since I was a little kid. And it, it taught me a lot about discipline and responsibility. And I've used that throughout my career to help stay on track and, and succeed. I am the most determined person you'll ever meet. So. Yeah it's, yeah, it's been a lot of really good skills I learned at a young age that I've carried with me. OK. All right. Jesse? So I wanted to be Michael Jackson mixed with Madonna mixed with Elvis for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm t I mean, I'm a performer, so I feel like I'm incorporating that now. I'm not quite them, but, you know, doing my own thing. <laughs> All right, Shane, one more from you. If you could do one major thing over in your life, what would it be? I would have traveled more before I had children. Yeah. yeah. How many kids? I have two kids. I have an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old. So we're, we're almost in the home stretch now. OK. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's nothing that sticks out. I think things happen in life for a reason. That's how you learn. I would love moving forward to do more to give back. and. Yeah, and just, just do more for others. Yeah, Jesse. Um, I'm like, you took my answer. Uh, <laughs> I genuinely don't have any like regrets. I've learned a, a great lesson from everything, and I do believe everything happens for a reason as well. And it, I wouldn't be the person I am now if it weren't for everything I've done. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, Shane, we, we got to make a decision. You and your sons huddle up over there. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Y'all huddle up. I'll tell you, th this was pretty good. So I, I think, uh, you know, you're very sincere. You're very honest, guys. It don't take long. You put three women in a huddle, they'll be over there talking for a minute. <laughs> so we've reached a decision. We've got a unanimous decision. It's a unanimous decision. A unanimous. unanimous? It's unanimous. You, no, unanimous? <laughs> 
you know, unanimous. <laughs> it's unanimous. Shane, who's it gonna be? Three lovely ladies. Well, get to pick. they're all beautiful, and this is a tough decision, but the unanimous decision is Carly. Carly, congratulations. Unanimous decision. You go ahead. Thank you all, everybody. Congratulations to you all. Good luck. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.